guys, welcome to Daddy Dye's Crafty Corner. My name is Diane, and tonight we're going to be doing a haul from Simon Says Stamp. It's part of their Stamp Timber. This is what I've ordered so far. This event goes on all through the month, so this is just what I've gotten in so far. I'm sure there'll be a couple of other little things that I'm going to want to order. So, so far they have released everything from their product line for the um, month, and then there's going to be um you know the other company's special releases that'll be in so i'm going to go ahead and show you that i'm going to also show you this little card that i made because this is what i worked on in the last couple of days this is a digital images from darcy uh, not darcy from deary dolls um deary dolls digi stamps and i've done quite a few of her stamps and different cards i've done um she had the Wizard of Oz and a few other the characters. I just think that they're so cute. And sometimes you're just in the mood to color. But this legitimately took about 50 different markers to do this card. So it was a lot of work. Um, I did do double layering on this card. I don't know if you can see it or not, but the scene continues on the bottom and on the top here. And then I paired it with my Gina Marie um, frame. I put it on some taupe card stock and then I use the inside of the frame on the inside of the card to finish it off and that is how that turned out I'll be inserting a picture um, tomorrow in the sunlight that you, where you can actually see it up close but yeah I just think they're super cute and her her images are free now I read on her website today where you can send her a I, I, I'm sure you have to pay for this where you can send her an image of your child and she might make a digital image out of it I so want to do that for Pukachu. I so want to do that. So I'm going to look into that this week. So yes, yeah, so that's what I've, all I've worked on so far, except for the videos that I'm going to be doing tomorrow, putting up tomorrow for the Brother Scan and Cut. So let me go ahead and show you this real quick. So what I've gotten so far from the stamp, um, Simon says stamp, stamp pendus. Oh, so you'll have to forgive my voice because yes, I am sick again. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and take this paper off. They had a special release of some shiny, glittery, um, glimmer assortment pack is what they called it. And it came in this package. So I'm going to go ahead and move that. Um, to be very honest, it's not exactly what I expected. It's pretty paper, but I've seen this paper before. Um, this, what's unique about this is it kind of, which you won't be able to pick up on, um, it kind of has two tones to it, but it's like a, um, a linen, um, it has two sides, one, which is just your plain card stock. But as you can see, it's all got, um, blemishes and marks and it's just, it's just not what I expected. It's, it's not the quality that I expected from them. So there, it comes with these colors. This is the sample pack. This is like a, um, a light blue. And then a darker blue, which kind of goes almost into a dark blue purple. Filming this at night, guys, so this may not even look like what you're seeing. Here is like a lavender purple, um, gray purple maybe. It almost comes off as gray and purple. In fact, you know what? I'm not going to give you the colors. I'm just going to show you. This one, kind of a plummy color maybe. And then the back. This is a peach color that I normally go for. I really like these peachy colors. But it kind of has a teal. I don't know if, if the light's going to pick it up or not, but when you hold it up, it kind of looks goes from peach to teal. And then green. And then this one is kind of a dark slate color. And out of all of them, this is the one I like the best. It is a white to ivory it looks like and I just think that would be in fact I may order this one all by itself I think that would be super pretty on very elegant wedding cards or special occasion cards I just think that's super pretty and then a pink a green was that just one yeah a uh, yellow not really yellow this is more buttercup and this one's yellow. And then this is the bright purple. Okay, so that's that. 
Oh no. Somebody escaped. All right, so that was the paper. Now this was not part of the September September release, but I did go ahead and get it from them. This is the Avriel Large um, treat bag. I've also got, I've got the Mama Elephant Small treat bag as well. This one holds a six inch bag, which is your standard party bag. And I did pull it for you guys. If you were going to Target or wherever it is you get your party bags, the standard bag is six inches. Okay, so this is your standard party bag. This is the Target brand. And this topper is the size that you would need. This is the back of it, by the way. Here's the front of it. This is the topper that you would need to go on these big bags. So it's super cute. It has a little handle on it. Um, it's just one piece when you cut it out, you score it here, it's super cute. I only wish it had a handle for both sides to make it a little more support if you weren't using a heavy cardstock. But um, you could easily do that as well, but I'll probably use it just this way and just use the heavier cardstock. So I think it's super pretty. And then the, um, so that's the only thing that wasn't part of the stamp timber. And here is the other one that I use, you guys have seen this before, this is made by Mama Elephant. And um, again, it's got the handle on both sides, but this holds a four inch bag. And these bags are harder to come by. So um, this one is your standard gift bag, party bag. So it's kind of cool. So I ordered that, but that wasn't part of the stamp timber. These are what I got from the stamp, stamp why can't I say that? S the stamp timber. I went ahead and I picked up the Merry Christmas um, I just think the font would be great for, um, you know, dry, for doing the heat embossing with like a bright red or green or even black. I just think it's a nice, cheery little font, so I picked that up. I did go ahead and pick up the Lawn Fawn set. It only came with the dies or I wouldn't have purchased the dies um, because I'm really not even using the dies anymore. I'm basically just using my brother's Scan and Cut. So, but I really did like this set, um, even though I had just destashed all my dogs, except for a couple that I still have. I just thought this little dog was super cute, and I really liked the, the gingerbread and the bowl and the bone and, you know, of course the hats, which I have all these hats already. So these hats just keep getting redone. But I didn't have the reindeer hat, so that's cute. Um, what I did like about this, if I were going to use the dies, is that little red, the um, the little reindeer nose, actually has a cutout as well. So that was super cute. And um, has some cute sentiments in there. And it said, but this is from the dog. I just thought that was super cute. Santa Paws, Dodge Hound, um, Happy Holidays, Through the Snow, um, Santa Paws is coming to town and from the dog. I just thought that was super cute. Little light, so yeah, I picked that up. Then I picked this up. I have the other one that they came out with. This is the um, Scalloped Stitches. Now they had another Stitches one. Uh, let's see what it was called. It was similar. Oh, I wanna show you this too, although this wasn't from there, but I'm gonna pull it out and show it to you tonight. It was very, very similar, guys, but it was rounded. Um, is that where I want it to be? You guys, will, you guys are going to hear my husband in the background laughing. He's on playing a game with the guys. They do this um, team speak. Yeah, I can't find it. Um, oh, here it is. So it's really very similar to what I already had, but they had this scalloped, which was the wavy scalloped. And I really liked that for the cards and I had often wished that they had the straight one, which Lawn Fawn, um, Lawn Fawn does. I have these three from Lawn Fawn, which I really like. And um, Simon Says Stamp released this as part of their Stamp Timber event. I didn't cut them apart yet. But you can see that's, um, it's just a little bit smaller and the stitching is straight where this is curved and on here the whole thing was curved you know so I really like this one this is how it cut out let me put this back over here 
I'm a little winded again, guys. You know, every time I get sick, it's like, bam, it gets me. We're going to use this very lovely purple paper. So what I did is I didn't cut it out the right way, you know? So I'm going to kind of show you like this. So that's what it would look like is trim on your cardstock. Super cute. And then this one would look like that, but, you know, this part wouldn't be here. And then the bottom one would look like that. Super, this is super pretty. So you could use that for a lot of cards and so forth. I'm going to leave this paper out because we're going to need it. So that was that. And then I picked up some of their dies. I got the word um, create. Super cute. It's kind of um, small and dainty, and I love that about it. So that's how that was. Very, very, very easy to cut out. And super inexpensive. I think it was like $2.99 or something. Um, Inspire. The eye is still stuck in the die, I think. But the eye, it has the eye, the drop, the little dot for the eye. So Inspire. Super pretty. And then the big scripty Believe. Which looks like that. Had to get that. Don't even have to go into details, but had to get it. Super pretty. The um, it's not scripty. It's the um, the brush, the brush stroke. I think I said scripty. It's the brush stroke, brush stroked. And then of course it has the eye as well. It goes in there. So that's super, super, super pretty. And then I got the autumn blessings which is cool because it's not two little dies, it's just one big die. I'll leave that there. It looks like this. And I kind of like that. Not a, not, it's a better chance of it not disappearing. And it just says Autumn Blessings. Super, super pretty. I'm hoping I'm in frame. So that one's super pretty. I really like that one. And then this one, we already saw this. This one is, you guys, this is my jam. You know that. I love to paper piece. And this is um, their Bright Blossom. I believe this die was like $14.99, so it definitely wasn't cheap for one little die. But the possibilities are endless with it. So what I would normally do with this, I would take out all these little bits and bobs like that. I would go ahead and color my leaves however I'm going to color them or just leave them white. In most of the cases I just leave them white. I would cut this out twice. I would put it on my paper, my white paper. I normally do this white on white and then each one of these little pieces would get sent, would be turned around the way it belongs and I would color it in like a petal. So I would be looking like this is, this one would be going here so the petal would be going like this and I would be taking my brush strokes and going along with the curve, making it darker in the middle, lighter at the edge. And then when it was done, I would be placing it back in. And then you would have the beautiful color of the rose and still have the outline, the outline be white. So I love doing these paper pieces. I think it makes an elegant card. Um, yeah, so I picked, I had to pick this up. I just love the shape of this. I love the shape of the two flowers together. And even if you cut, which I may do on a couple of cards, I may just use the flower and not the stem, it would still look great. So yeah, so I picked up that and that was it. But I wanna show you, I walked into, um, I had to get some paper for this, pro you know what the, um, put all these here. For the projects I'm gonna be doing with the scanning cut, I'm actually gonna be doing, um, what I'm gonna be doing with that little turkey box I showed you guys, I'm gonna be doing, um, 50 of those cutouts all together because that's what my daughter Susie aka the school teacher we're going to be doing a we're going to be doing those boxes in her classroom each child she has two classes one math one science um, the children are going to be doing that box together you know as a group each each class and um, then I'm going to be cutting out leaves or feathers I may do feathers I'm not sure I'm either going to do leaves or feathers, 
and they're going to be writing what they're thankful for like each child to get six or seven feathers or leaves and they're going to write what they're thankful for stick them inside their little turkey box with a couple of treats we're going to give them and then they get to take the box home for their parents to see what they're thankful for so i'm super excited about that project so i'm going to be filming showing you how it goes together how to cut it out and how it goes together tomorrow so that's going to be fun and then so i had to go get some more um, paper from Michaels and where I live the Michaels the Joann's and the Tuesday morning is all in one strip it's all in one strip mall so I went to Tuesday mornings first and just looked around my Tuesday mornings never has anything ever but I was specifically looking for orange brown and yellow cardstock they did not have that but they had this now this was two dollars and ninety nine cents it's called white with foil um, it's made by bringing, bringing creative people and projects together, Creativity Inc. This paper, guys, is the most gorgeous quality and most beautiful paper I have ever seen. If you see it at your Tuesday mornings on the bottom shelf where the papers are, you've got to grab it. And in fact, I'd grab two. I'm going to go back. They had one more. I'm going to go back and get it tomorrow. I have, don't have the kids tomorrow. I got rained out. No. <laughs> Pukachu and I both are sick, so we're taking a holiday from each other. <laughs> no. Um, all right. So it comes with um, a few sheets of each. I think three of each one. So you get the silver on the white. And this is cardstock um, stars. And then the other side is just white. Beautiful. How great would that be to make little gift boxes and stuff for the holidays? And then you get the music notes. Again, you're going to get three of those. How gorgeous is that, guys? I am in love. And the quality is unbelievable. And then you're going to get the little freelisses or whatever they're called. The little scalloped ones. Isn't that gorgeous? How beautiful would this be to make gift box, little gift boxes and stuff? I can't wait. Like I said, I'm going to go tomorrow and get the other one. Beautiful paper for the holidays. Look at this one. Isn't it beautiful? And then the stripes. And then it starts over again. Isn't that gorgeous? So you're getting 30 sheets. So you're getting six times five. Yeah, you're getting six of each sheet. Yeah, buddy. That's just gorgeous. I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be using this one. Probably I'll use all this up for this holiday. And I'm going to stash the other one if they still have it. I hope they do. So yeah, so that's all I got this week, guys. Um, like I said, tomorrow I don't have Pukachu or the Princess. So tomorrow I'm going to be finishing up the filming, getting it edited, getting it up, and showing you guys how to put together those little boxes and show you kind of like how I've moved it around from the original format to be able to fit extras on there um, as well. I'll show you how to do that. And you guys let me know in the comments below if that's something you're interested in. I'm not sure how many of you actually have a Brother Scan and Cut. And if you do, you probably know so much more about it than I do. But I figured as I figure this stuff out or as I see something cute, I'm going to share it because that's what I do. So I hope you guys are having a great evening and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.